Good morning fellow exercisers. Welcome to our next edition. So today we're going to be working on strengthening your arms and your chest, a bit of your back in a good 10 minute circuit. You're going to love it today. So we're going to start with a little bit of a warm up. There's a 60 second warm up and then we're going to go through each exercise. It's 30 seconds for each exercise and then we will change. You need to make sure you've got your weights ready. So I've got my tin cans. You can have professional weights if you've got them, that's fine. If not, cans will do just the job. So I'm gonna pop those over the side here. You need to make sure you've got your good trainers, sturdy shoes. Please do not be doing these exercises without sturdy, strong shoes because there is a high possibility that when you're going along with your exercises, if your grip isn't that strong, it might just drop through your hands and end up on your toes. So please make sure you have got good sturdy shoes on. Roll your mat off the floor if you've got any, make sure there's no trips or hazards around and ensure that you've got a sturdy table or a strong surface. So the kitchen is a really good place to do this because this is not going to budge. Um, you can use a chair, but it has to be a really strong, solid chair that when you put your weight on, it's not going to budge. So I hope you're feeling all well, fresh, energised, looking forward to this circuit. And I'd just like to say thank you all for your wonderful comments. It's really nice to hear from you. We've had some great people from New Zealand, Canada, America, we've got people down in Cardiff, London, and in Cornwall, so it's great to have you on board. Do leave me a comment below. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, there has been some comments, how do we get your videos? You need to make sure when you hit the subscribe, you hit the bell, because by hitting that little bell icon, then you'll get uploaded automatically with the next video. And we are gonna go live next week. I am so excited. Yes, so we are gonna go live Monday, the 6th of April at 10 o'clock in the morning. And that's 10 o'clock London time. Okay, roll the shoulders back, up nice and tall, tummy muscles in, and we're starting with our warm up. So nice, easy hill pumps there. You've got the side to hold on to if you need to. Give an infra shoulder shrug, raise and lower, raise, lower, raise, lower, last one. Look over your right shoulder, back to the centre, over to the left, back to the centre, right, centre, left, centre, chin to chest, then centre, off we go. Bicep curls, so holding on to your weights, we've got 30 seconds on the clock, elbows close into the body, shoulders relaxed and down. Now if this is feeling a bit tricky, just hold on to the side, one hand, and do five reps on one side, then five reps on the other side. Good, keep it going. Next exercise coming up is a pec squeeze. So we're gonna keep those feet moving if we can at the same time. So we're gonna open out through the elbow joint. So we're keeping a right angle at the elbows, and you're squeezing in your elbows together. Lovely, now your uh, cans or your tins are going to remain in a nice straight line above your head there, and trying to get your elbows up to chest height. Steady breathing as you're going, you're nearly there folks. Good, and we're gonna head up for a shoulder press. So we're gonna press up to the ceiling, and down, and again, press up to the ceiling, and down, keep that going. If you're feeling this is feeling a little bit wobbly for you, just put your hand onto the side, again, do a couple on this side, and then swap it round to the other side. Brilliant, keep it going. Steady breathing, shoulder press, push those cans to the ceiling, brilliant. So we're into a one-arm row, holding onto your can, up nice and tall, pivot forward from the waist, bend the elbow coming up, and then releasing the hand down to the floor. Keep your shoulders back and low. And we've got 30 seconds on this side, and then we will change it together onto the other arm. So I'm gently placing my hand onto my side board, 
and I'm using my core muscles to keep my back strong. Change onto the other side, so other arm comes up and then lowering down, super. Good, keep that going, heels pumping. And what you need to do is you actually have to activate your muscles yourself. So if the weights feel quite light, you do a bicep squeeze, you squeeze as you're bringing those arms up. Imagine that you're putting a really heavy weight up there. Good, get the elbow nice and high. Lovely, and pop your hands onto the side. So this is where we're into a press up, and you're just gonna come and press your body quite close towards the sideboard. If this feels a bit tricky, just take a step in. The further in you go, the easier it is. But you need to keep your body in a straight plank position. Now, and if you've got any arthritis in your hand, take it to where it feels comfortable for you to do a press up. Brilliant, right, you're back to the beginning. Bicep curls again. Off we go, bicep curls. So this is a circuit we're doing today and we are repeating exercises today, not like the last session. So you'll get really used to the sequence that we're doing. Really nice steady pace. Remember to hold onto the side if you need to. Keep the shoulders relaxed and low. Great, you've got a pec squeeze coming up. Off we go. So elbows out to the side, squeeze the elbows as you're coming in. I'm going to give you a side view here, so keep going with what you're doing. Lovely, tuck the tummy muscles in and steady breathing. You're doing well, folks. You're going to feel so good after this exercise session. Good. You've got a shoulder press coming up. Here we go. So we're going to press the weights to the ceiling and then back down to ear height. Push up and down. Keep that going. I'm going to show you an alternative. I'm going to do a couple on this side. One more, and then I'm going to change it to the other arm. So I'm just working on three, two, and one. Great stuff. And your last one into a one arm row. So off we go again. You need to pivot forward from the hips, flat back, bringing the weight up, bending the elbow, soft knees. Good, squeeze the bicep as you're bringing that weight up. So you're keeping it all on one arm. Do not change until you hear that bell. Yes. Five seconds. Head in line with the spine. And change onto the other side. Good. So what's the weather like with you guys today? Drop me a line. It's sun, the sun is shining again in Cornwall. We are really lucky this week. It does, it does, it does actually shine in, in England. I know we're a bit of a wet country, but it is shining lovely. So we've got a press up coming up. Last one. Press up. So body nice and straight. Shoulders low. Press to where it feels comfortable. You might just be doing just a small press like that. Absolutely fine. You work with what your body allows you to do. You might want a wide stance. You might be pushing yourself all the way forward and then coming back up. Great. If that suits you, wonderful. If that's tricky, take a step forward and do a little press. Little press. Back for a bicep curl. Yes, you've got it. This is our last circuit. Last round. And that's going to take us to a full 10 minutes. And it's really enjoyable. Is this enjoyable for you? I hope so. I'm sure it is. <laughs> Give me a lovely smile at home. You're like my spring lambs. It's springtime. I can see all your joints loosening up, your muscles going crazy. Off we go. Peck squeeze and out. Squeeze in. Squeeze those chest muscles. Great. Steady breathing. Oh, Nannykins, this is all for you, these videos. That's it. Keep it going at home. You're doing really, really well. My poor Nan's got terrible osteoarthritis 
and she is just really doing so well. So shoulder press, we're going to press up to the ceiling and back into ear height, pushing up and down. Good, keep it going. Steady breath. Lovely. I'm going, to take, I'm going to take a step back, stay where you are though, so you can see me better on the screen. So I'm aware that my hands are going slightly above the camera there. Get ready for a one arm row. Off we go. So back to your sideboard. Up and pivot forward from the hips. Good. Shoulders nice and low and relaxed. Try to keep that shoulder back. This is what happens if you let your shoulder roll forward. It comes into that position and you're not really going to be doing much good for your back. So you need to roll the shoulders back and contract the bicep as you're coming up. This is actually working your rhomboids as well. Switch hands. So it's good for your upper back posture. Steady breathing. Doing well folks, you've got one more exercise to do after this one. Press ups. Last 30 seconds of press ups coming up. Now the reason why we do small sharp little bits of exercise is if you do too much on the joint, you can give it a lot of pain and discomfort. So it's really important to keep it short and sweet. Ready, off we go. So pressing up. Watch out for those bottoms. Don't want to see any spring lambs sticking their bottoms out wide. Nice and straight. Take a step forward if you need to. Might just be here. Might be here. That's fine. You're going to tell your family, your friends, I've been doing press ups today. Oh yes. And you've made it through. Let me just stop my timer. Fantastic stuff, well done. Right, let's stretch it out. So we're just gonna start with a little bit of mobilization with the shoulder before we go into a good upper body stretch. Other side, three shoulder rolls back. Big circle all the way up. Oh, that's lovely. Loosen off through the shoulder. Onto the other side. Reach and round. Good, steady breathing. And a nice wide stance and we're just gonna stop the legs there. Brilliant. So you're going to take your one arm across your body and gently pull that arm towards you. Relax the shoulders low, feeling a stretch onto the top of your shoulder muscle, which is known as your deltoid. Good. Take that hand forward reach up to the ceiling and gently drop the elbow down. So drop your hands down in between your shoulder blades and gently push onto the back of the tricep. So do use that trick of a dishcloth if that's a little bit tricky. So hold in one hand, whip it over the shoulder, hold the dishcloth and gently pull down for a lovely tricep stretch. This just works an absolute treat. It's a nice, lazy way of stretching. Okay, reach up and down. Wanna try it on the other side? Get your dishcloth, well, tea towel, I should say. Uh, reach back, gently pull down with the tea towel. Feel a tricep stretch. Good, and release there, fantastic. Just circle out through the other arm as well. Circle, two, and three. Then shoulder roll back, two, and three. Upper back stretch, you're gonna bring your hands behind you and gently push them away. Imagine that you're pushing a heavy weight away behind you, pushing something away. Opening out the chest muscles there. Well done, doing really well. Good, upper back stretch. You're gonna hug a beach ball, tuck your head down. Sorry if you can hear that noise next door. That is my little boy getting rather excited. They're obviously off school. 
and then gently relax the hands down to the side. Brilliant. Take one hand forward and with the other hand gently hold on to the palm of the hand and bring that palm away from you. And that's opening out for a bit of a forearm and a bicep stretch. So I'll show you side on there. Our sun is shining again. I can't see any white horses today on the sea top, but I can see a lovely horizon. There's no boats out there at the moment. I think they're probably all heading round to Falmouth, docking round that way, and just waiting until they're allowed to come, a, a come ashore and, and board. On to the other side. And then back in, nice shoulder roll. Give yourself a round of applause. Well done my spring lambs today. You have done 10 minutes of good upper body workout. Next time we'll be working on a different element. We'll be working on some balance. So join me for tomorrow for some balance. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. And please, please, please keep safe. Be safe. Make sure other people are doing your shopping for you. Get it delivered. Don't socialise with anybody. Um, and just keep your spirits up. I am going to be with you all the way through this. So we will get through this. And today is another shiny, happy, sunny day. So well done, everyone. See you next time. Ciao, ciao.